Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another episode. Today we are back in the 737 from PMDG. Thought I would get some practice in uh, flying some heavies before we come out with season two for um, Dangerous Landings video. So today we're in Auckland. So and we are flying to uh, Melbourne and um, we are on uh, Virgin Australia flight 149. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning and um, just getting the engines started and then we'll be uh, ready to go. Today we'll be flying at 35,000 feet, cruising about um, 400 and we'll be departing on runway 23 left. So. Um, so it should be a pretty interesting flight because I haven't flown this bird for a long time and I haven't been the best of it so that's why I've chosen to do the dangerous landing so it should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try out a few different camera views with Chase Plane. This is the third, maybe fourth video I've done with Chase Plane so uh, we'll see where, how we go. Just moving over to the left engine and we'll fire up that puppy and then we should be on our merry way. Scenery we are using on today's trip is Orbex, Orbex and Orbex. So we're actually using uh, the Orbex New Zealand, I believe it's the north part uh, for the airport here. So it's not a full blown um, rendition of Auckland, but um, we'll be landing in uh, Melbourne, which we'll be using Melbourne, I think it's version two or version three from Orbex. Absolutely superb um, airport. And it will be the first time I've actually landed there with a 737. Uh, Again, that will be interesting within itself. So just added the fuel into the left engine, it's spewing up and um, very shortly I'm going to release the parking brakes and um, I'm going to get going. We'll just jump into a little wing view and uh, we'll put the flaps down a little bit. Really interesting thing though is um, I actually never set up all these um, different camera angles for Chase Plane. It's actually read them off um, Easy Dock and uh, put those in for me. So that was really cool. It's having about five minutes of my day. But um, we've been saying that. That's a little bit of a uh, bit of information for you. We've released a parking brake and we are off. But one common problem I'm actually having with CP is um, the, the mouse is always in the screen as you can see here. Uh, just trying out some cool shots there. Looks pretty cool with the logo lit up for the Virgin Australia flights. But as you can see there, oh yeah, the, the, the mouse is always appear in the middle of the screen because I use that to track the, the plane around to make the different shots. But um, if anybody knows um, how to fix that, um, please let me know because I've tried a few things and I haven't been able to get it the way that I want. Just jump into another wing view there. So today's uh, weather is absolutely fantastic. Um, there's some um, blue uh, sky above the clouds, but we're just going to get through the clouds first to get to the blue sky. So can't really see them at the moment. Um, anticipating to have a bit of turbulence as we go through those clouds, um, but we're pretty much going to be fighting a headwind all the way back to Oz, um, up to 100 to 110. So we'll probably be flying sideways to fly straight. So that should be interesting. And another wing shot there with the uh, Auckland sign in there. I thought I'd do this little pond trip because I've got a few um, uh, viewers from New Zealand. So I thought this would be a bit of a tribute to them to take off from um, Auckland back to um, Melbourne. And I will be doing uh, the flight with the auto rudder on um, as I'm having issues with my pedals. Uh, nothing wrong with the pedals, more an issue with getting the height right for my desk with my pedals. So um, I'm anticipating again the uh, takeoff to be quite messy, but uh, we will deal with that as we uh, go along. So we're just going to come up. So we'll be just coming up, we'll be holding short and we'll get the um, aircraft prepped and ready to go. And as we come off to take off, I'll bring up our um, wing view and I'll be quiet while I take off so you can enjoy the sounds. Apologies that you can't hear the engines very well. I've got, um, you can basically hear the aircon more than anything, but um, we'll change that for the next one. Anyhow.
V1. Ronte. V2. And that was the takeoff. We're just going to hit the auto pilot. There we go as we're breaking through the uh, cloud level. And we'll increase the speed. Don't want to slow down, I want to keep going. And not as many bumps as I thought we would do getting through the clouds. But there we go, there's the blue sky we spoke about earlier. Funny that. So not much uh, scenery to see actually on this flight, there's about 1200 nautical miles of just ocean between New Zealand and Australia, so uh, we'll do the best we can, but um, as we come up to 10,000 feet, we'll get the lights organised, we'll turn the um, landing lights off. And runway lights off. Don't know why I had those on. And I'll turn the logo off because it's during the day. Don't really need to see it now. Now the sun's come up. And we'll just increase our altitude into the autopilot so we can get up to cruise altitude and um, leave you with a little bit of view of New Zealand the best we can uh, for this stage of the flight. So I'll talk to you soon. Welcome back to the cockpit. So we've reached or we're just about to reach our cruising altitude of um, Seats get in the road there. We'll just move forward of 35,000 feet and then we'll uh, get our speed increased and um, Hopefully enjoyed that little view of New Zealand. There's not much left I'm gonna give you a bit of a wing shot because there is uh, Just on the uh, far side a bit of a, a mountain that you can see looks pretty cool and then um, we'll come back to you as we're about halfway into the uh, trip across the ocean. So um, talk to you soon, guys. So welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Something caught my attention, so uh, I thought it was worth a look. But um, we're still at 35,000 feet. Uh, we're about halfway through the trip. We're about 500 and a little bit nautical miles away, if I can say it from Ferrara. <laughs> no, I can't say that properly. That's F A W R A. And um, once we get there, or before there, we'll um, need to start uh, descending into Australia. But everything's running smoothly, so. Um, We've been saying all that. It's time for a montage of the um, of the 737, and then we'll come back and um, we're ready for business after that. Yeah. 
bit of a time warp and on the right hand side we've got um, Victoria there, or the coastline of Australia and it's starting to pick up a bit of turbulence is coming the way as we're just about to starting to uh, descend into where we need to go And now we've reached our top of descent. Uh, we're about 29,000 so far uh, descending down and the turbulence has started to pick up. It's going to be bumpy. It's going to be interesting. But um, should have another video coming out this week. Don't know if it's going to be dangerous landings a video or it's going to be a test drive. But we'll have an air hauler later on and uh, currently working on some stuff for FS Elite. So it's going to be a busy um, March, I would say. Very much looking forward to seeing it all. Oh, have a look at that dip there. That was interesting. But anyways, we'll speed this up and um, we'll pretty much be on our way into uh, Melbourne shortly. And welcome back. We're about to turn left uh, to approach into Melbourne and pick up our RLS for runway 16. Um, so it should be interesting. I'll probably uh, take it off autopilot around about uh, just under a thousand meters. Um, probably should do it at a thousand meters, but I'll take it off just under as this is the first time I've actually landed here at a 737. Um, into uh, Melbourne but um, I'm going to be quiet for now and uh, I'll come back to you uh, as we're about to uh, roll out and I'll talk to you soon
just missed that taxiway. We'll have to make our way to the next one. But um, floated a little bit, but uh, landing was okay and was slowing down. And I uh, don't want to stop the runway. What's going on? I've left the auto brakes on. Okay. So they're just disengaged. We'll just speed up and we'll make a left hand turn off the next taxiway. So uh, this scenery, as I like I said before, it's uh, Orbex, um, I think it's version 2, version 3, I can't remember for um, Melbourne. Um, very good, uh, and uh, very good on the frames, which is pretty cool for a large airport. So just cleaning up the aircraft, um, bringing all the flaps up, we'll get the lights done uh, once we pull off the runway and then we'll jump into a replay so you guys can view and critique in the comments of uh, <laughs> my landings which is always fun to read so we'll just turn a left here and hopefully I can follow the yellow brick road to the gate but anyways I'll come back to soon guys please enjoy the replay Well, thank you very much for watching and coming along how we had this bit of a practice flight um, getting ready for our season two of dangerous landings in the heavy. So I thought it would be great for you guys to come along. So um, if this, this is um, the first time you're watching, uh, please take a look at some videos on the lower left. Um, you might see some other ones that you like. And if you've been watching the Oz Flight Simmer channel for a while, um, please uh, make sure you hit the uh, top right icon and subscribe. And please smash the thumbs up. And comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much for your support. And I'm Shane on Oz Flight Simmer. I'll talk to you soon on the next video. Cheers, goodbye.